Hello everyone, welcome to Root to Mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this interesting problem. So here we have given if root x plus root y equals to root under 2 plus root 3 and here x and y are rational numbers, then find the value of x and y. So here we have given equation with variables and radicals. So we are asked to find the value of this variable x and y. So, without any delay, let's just start the solution. We have given root x plus root y equals to root under 2 plus root 3. Okay, whenever we have radical in the equation, the first thing comes in our mind is to remove this root over. So, for that, we'll square both sides of equation. So, this implies this. We can write root x plus root y whole square equals to root under 2 plus root 3 whole square. Okay, let's just consider root x as a and root y as b. So, we have an algebraic identity of a plus b whole square that is a square plus b square plus 2ab. Okay, so we can write x plus y plus 2 root xy equals to 2 plus root 3. Okay. In the next step, I'll equate this integer part with the integer and radical part with the radical. So, we can have x plus y equals to 2 and 2 root xy equals to root 3. So, this implies this we can write root xy equals to root 3 divided by 2. This implies this. Now squaring both the side, we have xy equals to 3 by 4. Okay. So here we will apply a condition that is, that is if a and a1 are the roots to the quadratic equation p square minus the sum of roots of p plus products of p equals to 0. Okay. So let's just consider a and a1 as x and y. So, sum of roots is here, we have 2 and the products of root is here, that is 3 by 4. So, let's just put the values here. So, we can write p square minus 2p plus 3 by 4 equals to 0. This implies this. Now, taking LCM, we can write 4p square minus 8p plus 3 equals to 0. So, here we have quadratic equation. We will apply the middle term splitting method in order to find the factors. So, we have 4p square minus 8p can be written as 6p minus 2p plus 3 equals to 0. Okay, this implies this. I will take common 2p from this 2. So, taking 2p. We have 2p minus 3 minus 1 multiplied with 2p minus 3 equals to 0. Now, I will take 2p minus 3 common. So, 2p minus 3 multiplied with 2p minus 1 equals to 0. Okay. So, from here we can write 2p minus 3 equals to 0 and 2p minus 1 equals to 0. So, here we have 2p equals to 3. This implies this p equals to 3 by 2. So, this implies this 2p equals to 1 which implies this p equals to 1 by 2. Okay. So, what I asked to find? We are asked to find the value of x and y. So, from here we can write 3 by 2, 1 by 2. Or vice versa, that is 1 by 2, 3 by 2 is our answer. I hope you have understood the solution. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for more such interesting videos. Thank you.